Sometimes we pay for subscriptions to third-party applications for our iPads, iPhones, and Macs, and even for Windows, which we end up not realizing that Apple provides excellent applications for free, which are often better than paid ones. I've already reviewed the Freeform, Pages and Numbers apps, and in today's video, I'm going to introduce Reminders, an app that has had major upgrades in recent years, becoming a very powerful tool. Sometimes people think that a task application is just a to-do list, like Google Task or Microsoft To-Do, but obviously they can be much more, like Todoist, Superfire, among others, real task managers, I'll leave in the description several interesting videos, take a look. But in the case of Reminders, it matches these more complete applications, because in addition to serving for simple task lists, such as a grocery list, it serves as a robust task and project manager, due to its features. When we open Reminders we have on your right the menu where we have the tasks of the day, the scheduled tasks, the list of all tasks, those marked as priorities with flags, those completed, and those assigned to me, used in collaborative work, and projects where several users have their specific assignments. Just below, we have all the lists and projects, highlighting the inbox list, where all the quick tasks that you enter on the device so as not to forget, for example, come straight to this list, so that later with time, you can reallocate the task to the correct list. In the middle part we have the list itself, and at the top a quick menu, where you can include tasks for today, for tomorrow, for the weekend, for the following week, as well as include in the custom mode, opening several options, such as the date itself, if there is a specific time, if you want to activate a reminder, and if it is recurring or not, with several recurrence options. Next you can include or not the location of the task, then we have the flags, that is, all the tasks that you assign a flag, you will have this quick shortcut, I will explain later, then we have the rash tags, working in the same way as the flags. Then we have the share button, and by clicking on these three dots, you can activate the column view, that is, like a Kanban board, show the list information, create a new section of your Kanban board, view or hide the completed tasks, create a template, print, delete, and manage the top menu of shortcuts. Now let's create a project together, clicking this button will create a new list of tasks or project, you assign the name of the list, you can activate or not smart filters, choose the icon and color. By clicking on the three dots I will click on C as columns, because I want to use a Kanban board, as in Trello, for example, and I will click on new column. Now I will create five columns, ideas, script, recording, editing and publication. Note that I can create as many columns as I want, and I can edit them too. Below, where would be the tasks of this project? I will include some video ideas, I can include in any column, as I can also drag the tasks between the columns, because each column would be a phase of my project, for example, as I can also drag the columns freely. By clicking on the task and then on this icon, we have access to all the details of that task, or as in our example, of the video idea, I can put a note, I can put a link of some idea, or some reference, or technical material, I can set a deadline with date and time which will automatically be linked to the base lists here on the side, I can include rash tags, to organize these tasks, and again, facilitate the search. In the icons we saw before in the top menu, we can link a location, as well, as include flags, as we also saw the filter link before. But it doesn't stop there, you can set a priority, you can change lists or projects, you can link here to another column of your Kanban board, and you can create subtasks, which can also have reminder alarms. Another cool feature is that you can also include images, that is, everything that paid applications offer as a differential, only for free, offered by Apple. The possibilities are many, the flexibility is huge, it is possible to create simple lists even large collaborative projects, it is worth testing the features of Reminders. Of course you must be thinking that Reminders can only be used on Macs, iPhones and iPads, but no, you can use it on Windows and Linux too, because it has a web version, which you can access from any place or equipment. Of course there are some limitations, collaborative work depends on all users being in the Apple ecosystem or having at least one Apple ID to access the web version, as well as, there is no integration with Apple Calendar, which would be very useful, moreover, Reminders is a very robust app, easy to use, 
and very underestimated by its users, in addition to being 100% free. Give Apple Reminders a chance, and see my other reviews of Apple apps. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.